Welcome to Angie's DIYs and in this video we are going to do a 25 day Christmas challenge and this is a challenge from my son. He sent me all these little boxes and each box has a different little craft item in it and he did send me a tree also a large tree but I'm just going to use this little small tree so I can get it in the film for you to see it. Um, so here's day one, and this is what's in that box, box number one, and it's a remnant of fabric. And the fabric has picture scenes like um, the Christmas house, you know, the carolers, different things. It kind of reminds me of stamps or postcards. See how pretty it is? And now my challenge is to make something with this to go on that tree. So I'm thinking about what would I like to use this for? There's, this is a, a large piece of cloth. I would definitely do more things with it. So I'm thinking a tree skirt. For the little tree. This will probably be my Christmas tree for the house this year. We're not having a large tree in the house. Because we're really not going to be in our home that much this holiday season. So I'm just not going to do a lot of decorations. This will probably be our tree this year. I'm just doing a little fold here so I can get a circle. It's not going to be perfect. And I'm sure most people learned how to cut a circle like this in kindergarten. <laughs> now I'm going to go up one side so I can put it around the tree, make a slit there. Kind of cutting it like you would a piping bag for icing. All right, it fits perfectly. Look at there, not that cute. We're not through with it though. We're gonna we're gonna put some embellishments on it. I'm trying to think right here if I want to put a bow there. You know, tie a bow cinch it around the trunk of the tree and put a bow but I decided against that I'm still thinking about how that looks like a little postcard so I'm looking for a scrap to see if I can cut one out That's so cute. I'm, I didn't do anything with that little scrap in this video, but I'm going to because I, I've got some cute little idea with the clothespin that I'm, I'm going to use that for. But I did want to make one more thing to go on the little tree. With, oh, I'm showing you there. That fabric is from 2001. So it, I, I guess that is a vintage. I guess that would be vintage. 2001. Seems like it was just yesterday. Oh, I stepped away to go find my embellishments. I'm looking for that piping cord that we used on the uh, Dollar Tree rug. I don't know if y'all saw that video or not. That was a pretty good video. 
There it is. Remember that? We used it on that rug. I really, really like that rug, and I am using it. Let's make a little pattern here. I'm going to do a little Christmas stocking. This is really a pretty simple little craft. Just cut out some cardboard and get your hot glue gun. And I'm not actually using this for a stocking. It's just going to be a print of, you know, a pattern of a stocking. I've got it drawn out on there. I probably should have got some pins and um pinned it but like i said this is a challenge so i didn't have an idea to start with so i'm just kind of working as i go here Let's get some hot glue on here. Now, this is just as simple as it can be. I'm just going to glue it right to that cardboard. Probably if I had some white cardboard, that may have made a difference. Could have been a little lighter. But I liked it. I like the way it turned out. And I did leave that top open thinking I might would put a little sprig of greenery or a candy cane in there. Let's trim up some of these loose strings that are hanging. 
And I found out if I let my glue gun get too cool, it'll have a lot of strings, glue strings. Okay, I think I got that the way I want it. We need, we're going to need something to uh, hang it with, it's like, like a little tag, a loop. So I'm just squaring this little scrap up. Put some glue down. That glue made it a little bit thicker. I did like that. I'm just going to glue it on one side because we're going to put the embellishments over the top. The ends on this type of piping or cord, they come unraveled real easy. So you have to get some hot glue in there and get the three stuck together to keep it from unraveling. But it is some beautiful cord. Got a little too much glue there. Trying to pick it out. Let's add one more piece to the bottom. I always like this little circle thing on the heel. And I wanted one on the toe, but it just, the cord was not to scale for the size of the stocking, so I, I didn't put it on the toe. Alright, that's the stocking. Now let's finish up the tree skirt. Oh, wait a minute. More strings. Hold on. So how I'm going to do this cord is, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna double it and find the middle. And I'm just having, in my mind, I'm thinking, well, I'm just going to use up, use it, use it until it's gone, you know. So what I want to do is measure halfway. And then when I run out, I'll just stop. So I'm going to get this little piece on first and then take what I have left and double, and double it over, find the middle, and glue it on until I run out.
All right, here we go. There's the middle. Let's find the middle of the tree skirt. It had a fold in it, the fabric, so it was easy to find the middle. We're just going to run this along the edge. That that glue and that cord made it stiff enough, the fabric, that it really sits well now. And I want you to look. This was purely accidental. Purely. It will probably never happen in another lifetime. That was exactly enough to go all the way around. <laughs> it couldn't have been more perfect. I did speed this film up just a little bit. That's why it, it looks like it's kind of touchy. It's because I did speed it up some. Look at that. <laughs> oh, boy. Trim up these edges and put a little glue on them to keep them from fraying. There we go. I was thinking about putting a button on it. I got a box full of buttons. Okay, let's see how it looks. I'm trying to stage it up for you here just a little bit. Okay. <laughs> okay, I got to take that part out. All right, here we go. We got it all staged up. You can see the other boxes for the other days in the back. So we'll have one a day for the next 25 days. And what's in those boxes? Who knows? <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give us that thumbs up. We are really enjoying reading all your comments. And we'll hope you'll have a good day, and I'll see you tomorrow for day two.
25-day Christmas challenge.